Hello, and welcome back to Scientific Biography. Today we're going to be talking about Hypatia, who is an Alexandrian philosophic powerhouse. She uh, lived in the Potomac era of Egypt, uh, and she was pretty badass. So let's learn a little bit about her and why her name is so important. So who was Hypatia? Well, she was a 4th century mathematician, philosopher, and astronomer, and she lived in Alexandria, Egypt, which at the time was a part of the greater Greek world. This is after the, um, the Greek uh, conquests, or I guess technically the Macedonian conquests of Alexander the Great. So Alexander had conquered Egypt, as well as many other areas of the Mediterranean and the Middle East, and so Egypt was a part of that world. It was in, in, inherently part of the Greek sphere. Um, Hypatia was a Neoplatonist, so someone who followed Platonic philosophy um, after Plato had died. So Plato had died many years prior, um, but his philosophy and his teachings still lived on in the Platonic school of thought. As a teacher, Hypatia taught philosophy and astronomy at the Neoplatonic School in Alexandria and was noted as one of the best educators of the time. So she was uh, a teacher and a female. Um, so back then, a pretty big accomplishment. Uh, she taught students from all across the Mediterranean world, including Greeks and Romans, but also Egyptians and Middle Eastern people. Uh, and Hypatia was a pagan, but at the time tolerated Christians which was very unlike the uh, people, other teachers at the time. Most uh, teachers um, in the area um, wouldn't tolerate Christians. They had not gained the respect in the, this area of the world um, that they would eventually reach when Constantinople became the Roman Empire or the emperor. So at this point, Christians were kind of uh, a lower group of citizens in the area but he, she taught them anyway. Uh, she was also, right, like I said, a mathematician and a philosopher, and most of her work uh, was done editing or improving upon work that had already been submitted. So Hypatia, for instance, edited uh, Ptolemy's Almagest and added new information that had been discovered since it had been published. Uh, it was once thought that she had only amended her father's commentary on the work, but it has since been determined that she had edited her father's commentary and then the actual work herself. So we've learned that she has she had a much bigger uh, role in this improvement than we thought. Hypatia oftentimes commented and edited older works to update them. So she would take works uh, that had already been published and she would update and improve upon them because time had passed since they had been published. In mathematics, Hypatia also worked on Diophantus' 13-volume Arithmetica. Arithmetica? Yeah, yeah, Arithmetica. The additional material found in the surviving works must be Hypatia, since she's the only known person to have worked on and supplemented this work. So we know that all this additional stuff in there has to be from her. Um, she also wrote commentary on Apollonius's of, Apollonius of Perga's work on conic sections and Archimedes' measurement of a circle. So she was clearly doing work um, in this geometry um, that these different philosophers and mathematicians had been working on prior to her. She was also an inventor and an engineer. Hypatia has been identified as someone who had created a silver plane astrolabe, and this is used to measure date and time based on star position. She was also capable of constructing hydrolabs, which is a device used to measure the density of liquid. So for her time, she was able to create a lot of the tools necessary um, for science in the time period, whether that be measuring density or uh, figuring out the date and time using the stars. Overall, uh, Hypatia did leave kind of a legacy. Um, however, Neoplatonism continued right after Hypatia's death. That didn't go away when she died. Um, and th that group of philosophers and thinkers made strides in astronomy and philosophy far past her. However, her death um, kind of left her legacy unprotected. 
her work to cooperate with Christians was wiped out after her passing. So when she died, um, the uh, care and friendship that she showed towards these people, this, this minority religious group, um, kind of disappeared after she was dead. Um, she was seen at the time as a martyr of philosophy and helped paganize philosophy. So this, uh, her death kind of made it so that um, Christianity didn't get tied up in philosophy yet um, and kept it pagan. Um, sorry for the typo there. Very clear typo. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, this quick little video about Hypatia. Please subscribe to learn more about different historical and scientific figures. And we'll see you soon for some more content. Thanks again.